One of the issues associated with dynamic spectrum access networks is the uh, lack of uh, a priori knowledge about the operating frequencies being used. So in traditional networks, once you switch on your mobile phone, it knows the, the operating frequencies that it's going to be working upon. Or it can determine it from a control channel which, of which, uh, whose frequency is known to it. So in order to overcome this challenge, we have to have some mechanism of performing rendezvous within the network. So when a node switches on, it must be able to scan the frequencies that it's capable of operating within, pick up on a signal uh, that it's interested in, and establish communications on the operating frequency of that signal. So the way that I've uh, looked at overcoming this problem is by embedding a psychostationary signature, a type of a watermark in the signal. A user can pick up on the signal, can classify it as coming from someone with whom it wants to establish communications, and can acquire the signal, can lock onto it, start receiving the data, and establish a communications link. So what I have here is effectively a uh, signal generator, which uh, has a OFDM waveform stored on it. Within that OFDM waveform is a psychostationary signature, and it's actually just a raw audio data, just a music file on the OFDM. So I'm transmitting this uh, from the antenna at about 2.4 gigs, and receiving it on our small uh, USRP, our uh, RF front end. This is being pumped into our software radio, Iris, and it's being processed in real time and pumped out to the speakers. So just streaming audio from the signal generator into the PC and out to the speakers. So because there's a psychostationary signature embedded in this, it enables the software radio to very quickly scan, lock onto the signal, acquire it, and start streaming the audio. So if I change the frequency at which it's operating, On the spectrogram, you'll see that this is my signal at this frequency. So when I change frequency, you'll see this shift out of time. When it shifts, what will happen on the PC is that it'll lose the signal. It'll have to start scanning frequencies. It'll acquire the signal again, lock onto it, and start streaming the audio. So, okay, so what's happened there is I've shifted it down about uh, three megahertz. The uh, PC has picked up on it very quickly and I started streaming it back out to the audio. So in this way we can achieve rendezvous. In this way we don't need to know the operating frequencies uh, before our uh, node or our handset starts working. So hopefully it'll work. So making portions of the uh, signal spectrum the exact same as other portions of it. So then by shifting and multiplying you can pick up on that correlation pattern and you can find the peak at which this is occurring. So in the diagram here, you've got the peak just happening here. And that's effectively what a cyclostationary signature looks like. So using a detector, you can pull out a slice of this here. And you should be able to get a graph, which looks a little bit like this. And as you can see, the feature is centered right on the carrier frequency for this particular case. So you do a little bit of moving average, moving average filtering over this. You get a nice clean peak. You can use this to figure out what your carrier frequency is and you can lock onto your signal.